question is from Brandon LPZ26. When over training, you talked about lowering the volume. Should we reduce volume on our big key lifts or smaller lifts? You could reduce volume on either of them, but you want to consider the following. Um, the big lifts have a larger impact on your body's ability to recover than yeah. the small lifts. They're doing way more. Squat's doing way more damage than a tricep yeah. pushdown. So if you're, <laughs> but it's also sending the loudest muscle building, strength building, you know, adaptation signal as well. So if you're like really overtrained and you've identified that, oh, wow, I'm, I am not good at all and I'm really fatigued, um, then you're probably going to want to look at reducing volume in both big, big lifts and smaller lifts. If you're like teetering on the edge, you're like, you know, I was progressing like two weeks ago or three weeks ago and I feel like I'm kind of overdoing it, then I would look at the smaller lifts and kind of chip away right there. But that's really, really it. You got to weigh it out that way. Really, I, I feel like I would challenge that too. I feel like if someone's overtraining – I doubt it's because of your seated bicep curls, your tricep extensions, your lateral raises, your seated cable row, your machine chest press. I doubt it's any of those that are. And I doubt that that just reducing those exercises at all would actually scale back your overtraining. Um, well, it could be like this: like you could you could go to the gym and say, "I'm not doing any small lifts. <coughs> mm -hmm. I'm just going to squat because I've been overtraining. So I'm just going to go yeah, squat. You just do the main four, and just five. do the main, yeah, the main ones. Um, or you could do the reverse and hmm. go to the gym and be like, "Man, I am fried. I'm just going to do small lifts." I mean, in my experience, I've never been overtraining because of all those isolation movements. I was saying. Yeah. It's always because I'm doing too much of the big four and I've always got to pull. And the only thing that will make my joints feel better, allow my progression, allow myself to recover better. The only thing that does that is, is reducing some of those big compound lifts. Cause to me, isolation, uh, machine cable exercises don't do nowhere. Near, I feel like I could do those five times a day, every single day. Non they're almost like trigger sessions. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're yes, you can still train some of those movements to be tough, but I don't get inflamed joints. I don't get like se severe fatigue. I don't see myself setting back my strength and, and truly overtraining unless I'm- See, I've experienced hmm. um, the opposite. And Have I don't you? Mean, yeah, and I don't mean that, I'm not disagreeing that, <clears throat> those, that those exercises don't uh, cause a lot of damage to the body. I agree with that part. What I mean is that I've gotten to the point where I feel like I'm overdoing it, so then I go to the gym and I do 30 minutes of, uh, you know, uh, bench and deadlift and I keep the intensity moderate and I just perfect my form and I leave. I don't do anything else. Um, and it, now here's what you want to do. You want to weigh all these things out because the big lifts, they cause the most damage, but they also cause the best results. The small lifts cause the least amount of damage, but they also cause the least amount of results. So you want to weigh all that out when you're trying to determine what you want to reduce or cut out uh, of your routine. And there's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, here's another way to do this. Go to the gym, do the same routine. Here's my favorite way, by the way. Go to the gym, do the same routine, lower the intensity. That's my favorite way to handle overtraining is I don't even change my workout. I just go easy. It's the same workout at 50% intensity. Now I'm moving, full range of motion. I'm feeling the squeeze. I'm at half the intensity I normally am. I'm still doing all the same stuff. I try that out. Try that out for a little while. Uh oh, still not enough. I still need to cut back a little more. Cool. Now I'm just gonna do same thing, low intensity, but big major lifts. Yeah, I would assume gym. there's a scale like of, of yeah. yeah, reducing like one thing at a time. So that makes sense in terms of intensity, and then maybe lowering the reps or like one of the other variables, and then you know addressing uh, which one uh, causes you the most fatigue and, you know, to kind of like program accordingly. Don't you guys feel it's kind of obvious sometimes I, for it, you too? I feel like, like when I, to us, when man, I, I know what I'm feeling, right? You know? Like I know, I know when I overreached on my yeah. deadlifts, I know when I overreached on my squat and it's normally those things. You'll that, feel it in certain areas. Oh yeah. Well, about. I just know, I know because today I decided to do eight sets and it was programmed for me to do four or five, but I was feeling it. Or mm -hmm. today I was supposed to be training in the eight to 10 rep range, but man, I was feeling so good. I wanted to see what singles look like today. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? It's normally those fucking things that you do where you probably knew you were overreaching when you did it. And then you get the signs of the achy joints, the inflammation, the not recovering in time, like, or sitting, going backwards in weight. Like, I don't know. I feel like if you're truly, cause I want to be careful there too. Cause like this, 
I don't want to scare people to think that they're all because we did an episode on overtraining, so now everybody's like freaking out, like, <laughs> yeah. like oh shit, I was tired yesterday. Mind pump said I could be overtraining, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. okay, it's you, the, take a nap. Yeah, m- most people you'll have multiple of those signals that we talked about if you're truly overtraining. So I I don't want to stress everybody out and think that, and you probably have a pretty good indicator that you did because you probably did something out of the ordinary or you weren't following your fucking programming. Well, I think too, it's tough for your average person who doesn't have a whole lot of experience yet because they see a plan and they see like a a rep count and they see like, oh, well, other people should be doing this and they haven't really learned their body enough to get like, pay attention to those signals that like, well, well, for me personally, actually, this is probably too much right now and I'm just going to adjust on the fly. Like that, that, that comes later with experience, but uh, to keep that in mind in, in terms of like not being so rigid with uh, whatever plan you have going into the gym, like it, it can be interrupted. 